For you that don't know, yeah. for literally like since we were knee high, like but I've probably known Gus for like 15 years. It's jokes. And your yeah, all yeah. All, my whole family's known Gus for years. Started like, off on the push bikes. Started off on the push bikes, and now we're in M4s and Fiesta STs. So Gus is living the high life, and I'm just cruising. But anyway, <laughs> I know there's going to be a lot of people. I want to address this pretty early on in the video because I know there's going to be people in the comments that are like, "Oh, he's got an M4 at 24 years old." Um, Daddy's paid for it. Well, I can tell you all right I wish, now. I wish he did, yeah, I wish he did. Like, I can tell you all right now that Daddy hasn't paid for it. Gus is a tree surgeon. He worked really hard for his money. He's it'll got, either be, uh, it'll either be that, or they'll tell me my bird pays for it. Yeah, there's there's two options. People will either say Gus's bird pays for it because he does only fans, or um, he, again, or Daddy pays for it. But look, we're all happy with our lives and what we're doing. And if that's the way you guys want to make money, then big up to you guys. Yeah. Like, honestly, stay massive. in your lane, I'll stay in mine. Yeah, exactly, bro. I don't exactly. need drama with no one, mate. Like, yeah, exactly. Gus is just enjoying his life. Bronnie's enjoying her life. You, you're both just enjoying your life, yeah. and that's the way it should be. Like, got, who cares? Got engaged. Yeah, you've got engaged. So a massive shout out to both of you. Oh, that house is super. That house is well nice. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so today we're out in the M4. Gus literally just messaged me and said, "Look." I've got the Miltech on, it's been mapped, so we're now running about... Probably about 5.50, yeah. 5.50 break in an M4, like this is just an absolute slayer. Um, we've done a few pulls just on some back roads, but to be fair, because this thing's so powerful and what it is, Shit, yeah, it's dangerous. It's alright, just... Like, because it's so powerful, it is dangerous, that's just fact. When we get on some straight roads, it'll be sweet, but... Um, it's too bumpy. Round here is way too bumpy, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna get some cool clips of the Miltech exhaust, because you just had a whole... Miltech yeah, just they, fit, um, so what is that? Basically, they Miltech have made an exhaust for this for like the past probably like four or five years. Yeah. But the S55, which is the engine in this, has always sounded like quite, I don't know, like a, like a wasp. Yeah. They sound a bit shit, they just don't sound great. Yeah. So they're developing a, or develop now, they use my, they use my car to develop it, the new like equal length system. Okay. So it takes away some of that like shit noise and makes it sound more like a, imagine like an older like E36 or like E46, like yeah, a proper yeah. sort of like six cylinder engine though. Yeah, which is a really nice yeah, sound. Yeah, yeah. Really, really, really nice before, sound. They just sounded like shit. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, they used my car to develop it, and I didn't pay for it. Which is awesome. So a massive shout out to Miltech, because yeah. they're legends. Um, but yeah, this exhaust, I'll get some clips and flybys and stuff, obviously, as normal, but this exhaust sounds insane. Like, it turns heads it's like... It's too loud. Yeah, it's crazy loud. Um, it turns heads like nothing I've been in, and, you know, all I can say is, 
you know, it's just basically wow. You guys will hear it. It is absolutely ridiculous. Um, we just drove past Abbott a minute ago, and literally every single person that was down there was just like rubbernecking because <laughs> it is just so so loud. With the valves open, it is mental loud. Yeah, no, I'm valve shut. But yeah, like you say, valve shut now. And like it's like driving a normal M4. Like I haven't been in an M4 before, so it didn't come in your last one. But no, yeah, yeah. Um, this is I can live with this daily. This is no worse than the exhaust that you had on no, the 335 either. No, that was no, no, you know no. that weren't journey either. Mate, my Golf was the worst. I bought yeah, I bought that Golf R from it. Yeah, so you've had so many cars. For anybody that doesn't know as well, am I good? You're yeah, we're good, bro. Right. Um, yeah, for anybody that doesn't know as well, Gus is literally he changes his cars like the wind. So I don't. Do you, how, do you actually know how many you've had? I don't know. Um, you've lost count. You've had so many. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like, probably like 15. 15 cars. You've had loads. And he's 24, so it's just mental. He's had so many different cars, and pretty much all of them, I think they all have been modified, every single yeah, one. Yeah, There's yeah. not been one that hasn't been, not been touched. Never left the car alone. Yeah, we're all the same, though. We're all of us, yeah. like, yeah, The thing is, that's, that's what I'm saying. Some people probably like see me here and be like, oh, he's probably a dick because he's going to do it for But, like, it's not the case, though. I mean, it's literally it? just the same as everyone else yeah, likes yeah, cars. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just like yeah, cars. Just like cars. And you're in the for so fortunate, you're in a fortunate enough position with work to be able to afford it. So it's yeah, like the why only not? reason why like, I got in the first place, mate. When I was 18, well, not even that. When I was like 16, some someone like I was in a car crash with someone, and um, I got a payout. Yeah, if yeah. I'm honest. Yeah. And like I got a, I got a bit of money, and like I bought a car. So it gave you a kickstart. Yeah, it gave me a kickstart. That's yeah. it. So then you're like, that's the only reason why I've got. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like these cars, this car's obviously financed, but I'm yeah. not gonna shit. Yeah, but it's yeah, like, no. When I got that pet when I was younger, I bought and sold cars, done bits and bobs, and then like, that money I've always kept, and then I thought... Yeah, so you've always had a bit of excess yeah, so for I've cars. Yeah, like... I always had that money that I just knew was for a car. Yeah, yeah, So I just yeah, used that as a deposit sweet. for this, and then monthly the rest, like, it's not... Yeah, yeah. It's not as bad as like... anyone thinks, honestly, like... Do you want to say what you pay a month for the car? It's 300 quid. 300 quid a month for an M4, like, that is mad. I think that's crazy. I, I honestly think if I had the money to pay that a month, like, that's a bargain in it for what yeah, you've got. Mo I'm not, that's the thing, like, I'm no different, like, most people with a normal job could afford that. I'm not saying they can't, like. Yeah, 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 if they not... didn't smoke or drink. Yeah, which I don't, I don't do either. Neither do I, that's so that's, that's, the way I, that's the way I put it. Like, I've got a guy at my work that smokes about 40 a day and then drinks in the evenings. So he's spending probably 30 quid a day just on Bags yeah, and yeah, drink. Yeah, yeah. So like, I mean, we don't do that, so yeah, straight yeah. away you're saving all that money every don't month. Go out clubbing, nothing like that. No, exactly. And, that, and that's a good thing to do, like. I'd much rather be out cruising around and hossing about in M4s than I would be smoking. Yeah, so would I. Like, like yeah. it's much healthier than smoking, that's but for damn sure. Each to their own, isn't it? I suppose it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got mates that, like, probably spend more than I spend a month on this just in a weekend of drinking. Yeah, like, yeah, so have I. Do what you yeah. want. Like, Touche, yeah, yeah. If that's yeah. your vibe, then just do that. I'll yeah, if that's what you feel, then get on it, yeah. But I love this car. Um, do you want to run through, like, I honestly don't actually know that much on the specs of these cars, Gus, so do you want to run through, like, specs quickly, what they are, yeah. stock, and what, basically what you've done and what it is now, and... Yeah, it's a 2015 65 plate, yeah, or, yeah, not a compact, because I sort of thought, like, for the extra money, there's no point, I'm going to modify it, yeah, the only benefit of a compact is, like, slightly different suspension, I blow it anyway, yeah, and you get, like, cool holes in the seats with, like, compact seats and, like, little yeah. bits of bobs that are glossed back, so, oh, and they come with 444 brake rather than 425, so, okay. but when you when you tune them, like, which I have done, it sort of makes it sort of irrelevant, I don't know, I just didn't see the point. Yeah, yeah, no, that's like, They're not that much more money, to be honest, like, but for me, I'd rather just not, and then play with this one. Yeah, yeah, and which you will do. Is there anything yeah. else you're going to do to the car? Yeah, I mean, now I've got another one. I shouldn't have sold the last one really. I mean, I tried yeah. to be sensible from it and then I missed it. Yeah, you so were sensible much. for like a few weeks and then we're yeah, like, yeah, I know. Got the bug again for an stupid because I mean, the other one was so like done. And oh, I, the other end was sick. I've had to start it all again. Yeah, yeah. But, um, so, are you going to put a wing on this? Is this I don't know. Wing? I want to go sort of more subtle on the outside because this one's tanzanite blue. Which it's is a like sick colour. Individual it? colour. Yeah, yeah, such a nice colour. It's quite like a classy colour almost. I kind of want to keep it sort of like low key. Like, yeah. But yeah, I want to yeah. go big power. So, I want to do, I want to go hybrid turbos. Yeah. And then what are you talking, 700 brake? 700 plus, yeah. Which is crazy horsepower. Probably be too much, but like, I've got a power up. Yeah, mate, power. you're like me. Once you once you get the bug for something and you're oh, yeah, into yeah, fast yeah. cars, like you always want more. Yeah. You know, well, now you're 550, you want 700. Yeah. So the only way to do that is yeah, I, I, only, I only got 550 today. It's still sick. But like, the thing like. is, it sounds bad, but like because the old one was like, the same power, yeah. driving a standard one, I was like, oh, it's not that fast. I mean, yeah. it, it sounds so bad because like, it is fast. But, yeah, like, but it doesn't because it's when you're used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're used to that power on a daily basis, of driving it. Now, have you sold yours and bought a stock Fiesta? You'd be like, oh, this is shit. Yeah, well, I've been out in stock Fiestas and thought, yeah. oh my god, this feels so slow. Yeah. Like, as soon as I drove mine away, having my Fiesta stage two, it was like, oh my god, this actually yeah. feels like a totally different vehicle to drive. Like, it was crazy. But that's obviously in a whole different 
ballpark to this sort of car, this totally different cost. It's all about fun though, I feel like for a Fiesta you'd have so much more fun around these sort of like small roads. And yeah, yeah, like that's why, I mean obviously I had your old 335. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is how well we know each other. I had Gus's old 335, I had that for a little while. I ended up spending like stupid money on fuel because I was driving it every single day whereas Gus wasn't. Um, so I had to get rid of that, obviously got the Fiesta, but like Gus just said, on B roads and stuff, I love the fact that I can literally just use all of my power all of the time. Yeah, I can't. That's what's sick about it. That's why it's got to be JCW so much. My JCW yeah. was, I love that. Yeah, the Mini was sick, that wasn't was it? That Mini was so sick, and it sounded amazing as well, didn't that it? Was like, nice. oh. yeah, yeah, we did a re review on that with Adam, didn't we? Yeah, I'll try and link, <laughs> I'll try and link Adam Ivel's review of the Mini that Gus had somewhere up top now. Yeah, it must have been ages ago. How long? Um, a couple of years ago? Three years ago, I reckon. Two, three years ago. Flies, mate. mate, it does fly, doesn't it? And you've had a lot of cars since then. Yeah, I know. Well, I actually love the gold that you just got rid of. Yeah. But I mean, what, was, is, so what was the reason behind getting rid of it? Because you just missed the M4. Um. Well, first of all, I sold the other M4 because me and my missus bought a house. Yeah. And for anyone that wanted to slag me off in the past, we financed the old one through my missus in her name. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna lock, like, I'm not gonna deny yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I paid for it, but it was financed in her name. Yeah. We just got um. Bought a house, me and my partner, so it didn't look great on the mortgage. Yeah. So we got rid of it. Yeah. Um, obviously, then I got all the mortgage accepted and stuff, and blah 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 blah. And then I thought that's when I bought the Megane. I bought that Megane track car, you know, the old. Yeah, 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 yeah. So had that. Um, because obviously it sounds bad again. I didn't finance it because obviously I used my deposit that I got back from the M4. Yeah. To, to fund that car because they're not very expensive cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, compared to an M4. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. they're not that bad. Um, so I bought that. Had fun with it. Run a few track days, went to the ring, yeah. just sent us in a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. And then it sounds, again, awful, it just sounds like being a stuck up idiot, but like, they're just so plasticky inside and it just weren't like nice. Yeah, well, like, everybody says that about French cars to be fair. They're just like, not that, like, their build quality ain't great, like, they're just plastic and they sort of fall to bits almost. And when you're used to being in stuff like yeah, BMs, and exactly, that, like, they're totally yeah. It's not your Fiesta, your Fiesta inside is a step, a, a, a step above any old French Clio McGann, whatever, yeah, they yeah, just yeah, are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fact. yeah, yeah. I mean, they're, they're by no means perfect, but they're a lot better than yeah. French cars. Like, yeah, definitely. But what I will say is, it is obviously like when you compare them to stuff like BMs, like this inside is just pure luxury. Like you feel like a boss just sat in these, yeah, don't you? Yeah. Like, I do, I do love it. It is, it is like, such it is a G wagon. Fun. I absolutely love this car. And then, so yeah, sold that again. That's when I bought the Golf R. Yeah, bought that Golf R. And then did a few bits to it. I like lowered it wheels. Um, what did I do? I mapped it. I was like, yeah, like full system. Yeah. Mapped it, that was APR stage two. Nice. Those, that is one car, yeah, that is the most expensive car to map. What, I don't get what the RS250? No, the, the Golf. The Golf. It's a joke. Like, they're so expensive. How much are they to map? Because you've got to map the, key, the, the DSG. Oh, uh, and got the it. car. Fuck me. So fast. Shit, well bad, yeah. Mate, it was 1300 quid. That's your map. Yeah, so that's DSG right. map and obviously the. Yeah, yeah that's so bad. Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> that is and then, disgusting. Uh, a week after, I sort of. I thought that mapping it would make me less bored because it was four wheel drive. I don't know, I don't know if too well, but I just found it. I, no offense to the Golf owners because they are sick cars. I they are sick cars. I just yeah. got, honestly, just got bored of it. And that's just your honest opinion, like everyone's. Yeah, no, they're great. It was fast, but it, it done if it, it done everything so well. Like, man, this point is so bumpy. It is bumpy. It done everything so well, it was almost like it's no fun. Yeah, it didn't have yeah, no fun yeah. in it. Yeah, I get you, I get you. So yeah, and then Jay, you know he runs Q Automotive. Yeah. Massive shout out to him, he literally sources and finances and buys all my cars and whatever yeah, else yeah, I've He's a legend. Make, yeah, makes it so easy for me and my missus. Yeah. Um, yeah, he literally, me and my missus went there just to go and say hello one day and he had this in there and I was like, oh no. And then you, you fell in love with it. Yeah, I've got to get it. There, and yeah. Then we, yeah, I went in there, I didn't plan to buy it and then he said he wanted my Golf, and yeah. I was like, we'll buy my Golf and I'll buy the M4, and then... And that was that. day later, I picked it up, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then you started modifying it yeah. a day. Terrible, yeah, terrible. Mad, bro, but it is sick. So, yeah, I think we'll pull over in a second and get some exhaust clips, guys, because, like I say, this thing sounds absolutely mad. Um, and I think it's probably time to do some fun stuff with um, some it. sound clips, bro, and we'll uh, it, get some fun out of this beast. Happy days. <laughs> Hopping away. Just 
windows up, Gus. Wow, that exhaust sounds sick. I do like electric cars. I would have one if I had the money, but they're just spastic. So much money. That's the thing though, where, where some people really like the fact that like, cars turn heads. I like Whereas, it. like, I hate it. Because I just feel like, right, you're all looking at me. And I'm in this, yeah, little, like, I'm in this little fishbowl. Yeah. And, like, people just staring at me. Yeah. And I don't like, I don't know. The thing is, you love the car and you like it when people yeah. think it's cool, but then you don't like it when people look at you and think you're a dick. That's yeah, like me, which yeah. Is, which is most opinion. Yeah. You drive past people that hear a loud exhaust and they immediately I mean. think, like. I'm 24 and I look 11, so. Yeah. It doesn't help, right? I'm not going to lie, but. Just sounds so sick. Give it, give it a little razz in neutral here just to be a yellow and we'll hear oh, what it sounds like. Oh, hate me. I know they will, but we'll hear it on camera. Let's see. A little razz. Only a little one. Oh, see, that's the thing. <laughs> Some people love revving their cars in public and like, look at my car. I'm like, well, people can look at me like I'm a dick. Yeah, well, that geezer was looking as well. He talked about Mackie D's. He, he looked at him and thought, that geezer's 15. How is he affording <laughs> that? How has he got that? I hate it. Is he even legal to drive? Probably not. Honestly. But has he even got a license? Did he get his license out of a cereal box? People just don't like it. Do you reckon he likes it? He's coming now, this geezer here. Do you reckon he loves it or not? Do you reckon he's hating it? He probably just hates me. Yeah, he hates me as well. Oh, look, you do get looked down that's at, don't I mean, you? That's, that's what I mean. Like, actually, people think that yeah, he'll be... He'll, oh, yeah, I'm welcome in one of them cars. No, like, people just don't like you. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, right? My, like, my dream car, yeah, that I want is an R8 V10 Plus. Yeah, if I, I do if, sound sick. If I oh. ever get one, which, like, it's not happening anytime soon. But if you do, if I did, good, it's good to have aspirations if, if I did, and dreams, yeah. Imagine how you get looked down on that. Or if you if you were like a mega millionaire, like Aventadors and shit, like. Oh, mate. Imagine yeah. what people think. Yeah, when well, you pull into a car park. Because if I saw someone, like my age, in an Aventador, I'd be like, God, I hate you. Yeah, I, but, no, yeah I but we're honest about it. We yeah, just no, like, I I, 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 here we go, yeah, Mackie D's drive through, standard. I'm trying to get a drink. Do you want anything? No, I'm good. Can I have a medium Coke, please? That's all, thanks. See, if I in the um, 335 r here, I'd have been in neutral, razzing. See, I can't That's do what it. I was doing. <laughs> That's I'll do it in the Fiesta. If someone's behind me, I'll pop a man in flame, and then they move backwards because <laughs> it's just like, they think, what the hell is that? See, I'll be there, like, mate. If I do that, he'll think, what a dick. Yeah, but I get that. Mate, imagine how bad it is in my Fiesta. It's yeah, so, I don't like it. It's so bad. I don't bad. like people looking at me like I'm... I, uh, yeah, people so do like, it to me daily as well. I'm, yeah, the same, <laughs> I'm in the same boat as you, bro. Like, it, I know you I mean. get it. I get it every day. It's a totally different price bracket of a car. Yeah, but it's still the same. But it's just because it's very Asbo, like. Yeah, yeah. But this is like plush Asbo, like. This is ball like Asbo. Yeah. I feel like such a G right now, it's unbelievable. That's declined, Gus. Yeah, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sick saddle we've got here, look. Look at this, it tells you how much horsepower you're using. Which obviously we're using zero at the minute because we're in the old uh, Mackie D's drive through. We've just parked up, back with the Fiesta now. Um, just because Gus is a friend, it doesn't mean I shouldn't say thanks. So thank you very much for bringing out the car, bro. Um, it's been definitely a lot of fun. We've been looked at a lot. We've been looked down at a lot. We've had lots of fun. The exhaust sounds are ridiculous. So once again, a massive shout out to Miltech. Um, I'll link Gus's Instagram and stuff in the uh, description box. Make sure you give him a follow. He's already got enough followers, but yeah, just go and give him a follow. Obviously, make sure you um, give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Um, peace out, and I'll see you in the next one, guys.